the triangles theorem number 6.3 from 10th class. So, what is the statement? If in two triangles the corresponding angles are equal then their corresponding sides in are in the same ratio hence the two triangles are similar. That means if we take a pair of triangles their angles are equal. If their angles are equal their sides will be proportional. So, what do we what do we prove? So, we shall prove we shall prove their sides are proportional. Then what is the given to us? So, let me take a two triangles triangle ABC and triangle DEF. I am taking two triangles. In these two triangles as per the statement the corresponding angles are equal that means angle A is equal to angle D, angle B is equal to angle E, angle C is equal to angle F. Okay. Then what we are going to prove? We are going to prove AB by DE, AB by DE is equal to AC by DF. AC by DF is equal to BC by EF, BC by EF. We are going to prove that. So, how are we going to prove? To prove that we are going to use a, a small construction. What is that construction? That construction is a PQ. PQ. We are going to construct PQ. How are we going to construct the PQ? Such that AB is equal to DP, AC is equal to DQ. So, we are going to construct a PQ, PQ. How we are going to construct the PQ? Such that AB, 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 AB is equal to DP and AC is equal to DQ. AC. So, this is a DP is equal to AB, DQ is equal to AC. We have done a, a construction. After doing the construction, let me mark, let me mark the given again. Angle A is equal to angle D, angle B is equal to angle E, angle C is equal to, okay. So, let me say angle A is equal to angle D, angle B is equal to angle B is equal to angle E and angle C is equal to angle F that is given given in the statement. What is the statement? In the two triangles the corresponding angles are equal. That is why A is equal to D, B is equal to E, C is equal to F that I marked it. So, good. As I as I am going to take you further into the proof, let us observe, let us observe, observe, observe. What are we going to observe? Observe triangle A, B, C and triangle D, P, Q. When you observe the triangle A, B, C and D, P, Q, what are you going to observe? So, I am asking you to observe, I am asking you to observe A, B is equal to, A, B is equal to D, P and uh, one angle A is equal to angle D and uh, AC is equal to DQ. This is how we have constructed. These two are by our construction. These two are by construction. This is by the given. These two are by the construction. I am writing is C construction. This is a given. This is a given. So, just observe it. AB is equal to DP. Angle A is equal to angle D, AC is equal to DQ. AB is equal to DP, AC is equal to DQ and angle A. So, let us observe, let us observe. What is this? Yes, A, yes, yes, A, yes. What is this? Yes, A, yes. What is this? Yes, A, yes. Yes, A, yes, congruence theory, which you have studied in a ninth class. So, therefore, I say the triangle A, B, C is equal to, is equal to means I am going to say congruent with the triangle D, P, Q by, by, yes, A, yes, yes, congruence, yes, yes, 
congruent g r u e n c e congruence so that means triangle a b c and triangle d p q are congruent so whenever i say congruent you should immediately remember when the two triangles are congruent cbct what is that cbct cbct the corresponding parts of congruent triangles by cbct by cbct by cbct i can say by cbct i can say corresponding parts of the corresponding triangles are equal cbct 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 so ab is equal to uh, dp we know that ac is equal to dq we know that now the bc is equal to pq and all the angles all the angles and sides are equal so let me write let me write by cbct by c p c t by c p c t by c p c t in these two triangles angle a is equal to angle d we already know it angle b is equal to angle at p angle c is equal to angle at q angle at q and we already know that ab is equal to ab is equal to dp ac is equal to dq that is by our construction now the new thing is uh, the bc bc ac bc is equal to bc is equal to pq why this again i said why this by cbct the corresponding cbct what is the speed corresponding parts of congruent triangles so okay so as we felt all the angles in this small triangle are equal to this triangle so that means a is a p is b so let me give you two here so let me give again we proved that angle c is equal to angle q angle c is equal to angle q so folks make one other some other uh, observation what are you going to observe do you observe this angle p is equal to angle e angle q is equal to angle f what is that what is that then you can say angle p angle angle at p is equal to angle e angle uh, q q is equal to angle f that means that pq is parallel to pq is parallel to ef by our observation by our observation so just i am going to make a small like this by our observation by our observation pq is uh, parallel to ef pq is parallel to ef because because angle p is equal to angle e e angle q is equal to angle f what are these they are the corresponding angles corresponding a n g e l and g l e n yes corresponding angles corresponding angles where do you get p q when the corresponding angles are equal then pq is equal to pq is equal to ef pq is equal to ef so my dear folks my dear folks i am going to remind you once again the basic proportionality theorem in a triangle there is a line cutting the two triangle to the sides of the angle at some distinct points and if that line is parallel if that line is a parallel if that line is parallel we can say if that line is parallel we can say what can we say that particular line will cut will cut the two sides into equal proportion that means dp by pe is equal to dq by qf so let me let me write it let me write it so what am i going to write dp dp by pe dp by pe is equal to dq by dq by qf how did i write bpt bpt so can i take this bpt little more further 
further as we have already proved in our earlier classes how am i going to take it how am i going to take it so just observe it just observe it can i make it dp by de dp by da is equal to dq by df df so how did i write like that this is also our bpt bpt basic proportionality basic proportionality theorem so good my dear folks so dp by da is equal to dq by df so can i can i can i can i write instead of dp ab and d instead of dq ac yes i can write why our construction was just remember ab is equal to dp ac is equal to dq that means instead of dp i can write ab instead of dq i can write ac so let me write let me write let me write that way that means ab by de is equal to ac by df so I, how did i write like that that is also i just substituted i just substituted similarly similarly we can prove we can prove ab by ab by de is equal to is equal to bc by e f bc by e f ad by i'm sorry i'm sorry ab okay ab by de is equal to ac bc by bc by ef bc by ef bc by ef is equal to ac by ac by df ab by de is equal to bc by ef is equal to ac by df we can prove we can prove similarly similarly we can prove like that therefore so what is our uh, what is our uh, to be proved ab by de is equal to ac by df is equal to bc by ef that means we hence we proved hence hence we proved hence hence proved hence proved so in the similar way you can we can prove this way that means what did we prove let me let me sum up again the first so given what is given all the angles are equal all the angles are equal if all the angles of the two triangles are equal then what to be proved their sides will be proportional their sides will be proportional so this is a given then to be proved their sides will be proportional hence by our procedure we completely proved and we arrived at uh, ab by de is equal to bc by ef is equal to ac by df hence we proved so what is the, what is the procedure we followed first so given and to be proved and the construction we have taken and the proof we proof in the as a proof we started to prove these two triangles the small triangle abc and dpq we wanted to prove them as a congruent how did we prove them as a congruent yes 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 by yes 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 we proved them as a congruent if this abc and dpq are congruent cpct the corresponding parts of the congruent triangles are equal then angle a is equal to d angle b is equal to p angle c is equal to angle q then ab is equal to dp ac is equal to dq and bc is equal to pq we proved they are there then just observe so this that means all the angles are equal because all the angles of dpq and abc are equal that means a is d and b is p and c is equal to q then we observed and we observed hey these two angles are equal these two angles are equal these two angles are equal means yeah something should strike that means these two are corresponding angles if the corresponding angles are equal these two are parallel 
that means PQ is parallel to EF, PQ is parallel to EF, PQ is parallel to EF. Very good. If PQ is parallel to EF, then immediately another thing should strike to you that uh, ah, this is a triangle. Some line is cutting here and that is parallel. That means BPT, basic proportionality theorem. Yeah, we applied basic proportionality theorem. Then DP by DE is equal to DQ, DP by PE is equal to DQ by QF. The same basic proportionality theorem we can write like this also. DP by DE is equal to DQ by DF. We can write basic proportionality theorem. Similarly, so instead of uh, A DP, DP I write AB, instead of DQ I write AC because we constructed like that. Therefore, AB by DE is equal to AC by DF. And similarly, we can prove AB by DE is equal to BC by EF is equal to AC by DF. Hence, proved. If there, there are two triangles, if the angles are equal, we can prove their sides are automatically proportional. Hence, those two triangles will be similar. So, read, go through this video again and again and again and again. Then you will have a very clear understanding of this particular theorem, theorem 6.3. This is the angle, angle criteria, angle, angle similarity criteria. Bye-bye.